Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you how I painted this cardinal with watercolors, so let's get started. I'm using this reference photo that I found on Unsplash to paint the bird, and I'm using a cold press watercolor block from Bao Hong that I ordered from Amazon. The brushes I'm using are Escoda Kronos in sizes 8 and 2. My paints are by Daniel Smith and Windsor Newton, and I'm using Scarlet Lake, Paraline Violet, French Ultramarine, Burnt Sienna, and New Gamboge, a nice warm yellow. I will start with that bright red paint to paint the feathers on the cardinal's head, and I'm painting on dry paper. I'm just flicking the tip of my brush outward to create these spiky feathers on top. I'm painting around the eye and beak area, since later I will paint that black, and most everywhere else I'm adding that same red color on the dry paper. For the beak, I used the yellow mixed with a little red for the orangey color. Back to the red, I'm painting the tail in a single layer. I will go over that later with a deeper layer of color. Now for the black feathers on the face, I mixed my own black using Burnt Sienna and French Ultramarine. I tend to avoid black from the tube most of the time since it can look dull and flat, but in a small area like this it would probably be fine if you used a tube black. I'm starting to deepen some of the color on the body. I pre-wet that shoulder area and used Paraline Violet for that darker color. I left a hard edge on this area since in the photo the neck is behind the shoulder and the chest. And on the wing I pre-wet it to create a soft edge and added dabs of violet that spread out into a modeled abstract shape. Thank you. 
For the belly, I want a little more definition and directional feathers, so I did not pre-wet this area. I'm just using a more watery violet to make little strokes in the directions the feathers grow. I will do this a few times until I get the depth and definition that I want. By adding them in separate layers, it makes it look a little bit more realistic. This will be easier to see after the other layers are added. Down at the base of the belly, where there is more shadow, I deepen the violet color by using less watery paint. I used that same perylene violet on the tail feathers as well. I did pre-wet them, but probably didn't need to, since the areas are small enough to manage without the help of the pre-wet paper. I have a light gray on the eye that dried and I'm adding a layer of my mixed black. I'm painting around a few highlights and I also add some detail around the eye as well. To darken the beak, I'm using the Burnt Sienna and French Ultramarine mixture, using more of the Burnt Sienna to make it more brown instead of black. I'm mixing up the same colors for the background, but adding more blue to make it gray. I want to mix enough to cover the entire background. I'm using a clean, damp brush to wet the background first. I'm taking my time adding the water right to the edge of the cardinal, so I don't have any hard edges and white lines around the bird. While the paper's wet, I add that mixed gray-blue color.
The paper is very wet, and I blotted a bit of the watery pigment up so it wouldn't dry and settle into puddles. Back to the tail again, because it still wasn't dark enough, I'm using another layer of perylene violet. Now I'm painting the accumulated snow in the crook of the branches, using the same blue-gray as in the sky. I'm dabbing it on to create some texture, making it darker on the bottom to give it more form. I had a lot of fun with the tree colors. I used what I had on my palette to create the colorful bark. I made sure to make it darker with the blue and gray where the shadows were.
Of all of my videos on my channel, my bird tutorials seem to be the most popular. I think I like to make these tutorials because I also think personally that birds are challenging to paint. And I think painting things that push you outside of your comfort zone makes you a better artist. It was especially challenging to paint the feet because the branch was already so dark in this section. I relied on using light brown for highlights so that they wouldn't disappear against the branch. Now for the scary part, I watered down some white gouache and I'm loading it on my brush and spattering it randomly. I knew though that if I got a splotch over the eye or something like that, I would be able to blot it up easily. I'm dotting around to make some of those snowflakes bigger so that they're not all uniform and the same size. And for the final touches, I'm using that gouache for highlights on the eye and the feathers. I hope you enjoyed this video and you try painting your own winter cardinal in watercolor. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more watercolor tips and tutorials. I would also really like to know more suggestions for painting topics for future videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.